is I'll be talking with Bob Friend going in five. Bob Friend, while you were pitching Major League Ball, you managed to get your college degree. It took you eight years, but you got it. Now, if a young man came to you and he were at the threshold, at the crossroads of his career and wanted to know, should he go into pro baseball or go to college, what would you advise him? Well, uh, Cliff, I think it's, uh, it's up to the individual in this case. I know uh, there are probably a lot of cases where maybe the boy would uh, possibly have a tough time getting through uh, college education, whereby if he went right into baseball and had outstanding ability, he probably could get farther along uh, in baseball than he would trying to do both. But if, if, a, if, if a boy does have the uh, ability uh, to get a college education and uh, can work the baseball in two, I think it's a wonderful program. And, it, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not an easy one. It's, uh, there's temptations uh, to quit when uh, in early in your uh, uh, career. I mean, to quit your college education, but uh, I think after you get through the first two or three years, I think you'll get the momentum to, 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 uh, to go on through with it. I think it's very important. I was talking with Casey Stengel the other day, and uh, one of the questions I put to him was, who has the advantage, the pitcher or the batter? And it was Casey's uh, feeling that the batter has the advantage. What's your feeling? Well, uh, I don't know about that, Cliff. I feel that uh, the percentages with the... Uh, pitcher, and especially if, if he makes the hitter hit the ball. I think uh, you look at some of the great pitchers around, uh, Robin Roberts and Warren Spahn and those fellas, uh, they stay ahead of the hitter and they make you hit your pitch. Uh, you got eight men behind you. Uh, I feel that uh, the percentage is with the pitcher if he works the right way. Which would you, uh, well, what is your preference? Are you an offensive pitcher, do you want the batter to hit the ball, or are you a defensive pitcher that you want to throw it past him? Well, uh, there are very few pitchers that can stand out there and throw that ball by a uh, major league hitter. I, I definitely am a, uh, uh, I guess I would be a rely on a defense. I think that's, uh, I'm uh, hoping that he uh, hits my pitch. Uh, I make the uh, fielders do the work. And uh, I try to stay on top of the hitter as much as I can. And uh, when I do get ahead of the hitter, uh, I'll go to his weakness uh, maybe once or twice. Can a pitcher be taught control? Well, uh, I think a pitcher can improve uh, his control. Now, you'll take, uh, there's been a history of uh, wild men uh, that uh, Maybe a little help from a, from a pitching coach here and there, or an, uh, an old-time pitcher will uh, help them find the range. Uh, maybe they're striding too far and they're letting the ball go too soon. They're, they're throwing high, and I think uh, this can be overcome uh, through instruction, yes. Well, there you have the views of Bob Friend, one of baseball's superior pitchers and certainly one of baseball's finer persons. This is Cliff Evans reporting from Fort Myers, Florida, the spring training camp of the Pittsburgh Pirates.